Dealing with a nor'easter, which is uh, fun for May, Sarah. I know. You know, when you think of a uh, nor'easter, you think of like powerful storm. But this one, it's fairly weak, and it's just because the winds will be out of the northeast, we can call this storm a nor'easter. But sure enough, it's developing to our south, and it will continue to increase the cloud cover, which we can see as we take a look at the skyline of Boston there. No rain just yet. So travel plans will be okay. Afternoon plans will be okay. But it's during the evening we'll start to see the risk of rain move on in. So we're going to be adding another day to our month of rainfall. Believe it or not, we've only had two days where we didn't record any type of precipitation, and we're still below average for the month. Yesterday, we picked up just under a half an inch of rain in the city, but this is our system that we're watching. Low pressure will continue to push off the coast and intensify into that nor'easter, grabbing some energy from this area of low pressure that's over the Great Lakes right now. Noticing the clouds increasing, so any bit of sunshine you see right now, enjoy it down across the south shore because sure enough, it's going to fade away. Temperatures in the 50s in most locations, that wind on shore, and it will remain out of the northeast, perhaps getting a little bit breezier as we go through the afternoon and evening. Watch for that rain to move in, temperatures staying in the 50s. The winds will increase overnight tonight, and along the coast could find a few gusts over 20, uh, up to 30, even 35 along the Cape and Islands as we see this system get closer. So areas of rain will overspread the region, and across the higher terrain, Worcester Hills may even see a few wet snowflakes mixing in. Better bet of seeing some light snow as you travel further north across the higher elevations of New England. Tomorrow, leftover showers. It will remain chilly. The winds will turn out of the north northwest and boy temperatures stuck in the 40s we should be in the mid 60s this time of year so just a cool raw day in store tomorrow let me time it out for you this is the timeline noticing oh moving so fast but between seven 8 o'clock, showers overspread the region. We're watching for a little bit of some elevation snow, too, as you head into parts of central and northern New England and may even dip into the Worcester Hills. This is tonight into early tomorrow. Then as we go through the day tomorrow, the clouds sticking around can't rule out a stray shower. But low pressure continues to pull away, and this is by Wednesday. We still have some clouds around, and with this system near us, we still have that chance of an isolated shower. As for the snow tonight, not a big impact. In fact, really, will anything that does fall will melt away only any accumulations on the grassy surfaces elevation dependent as well so as you travel further north better bet of seeing some of that snow sticking as for the amount of rain anywhere from a half an inch to an inch is possible and for the winds again gusting over 20 even 30 as we go through the overnight hours could allow for some minor splash over during that time of high tide early tomorrow but those winds will turn out of the north for tomorrow noticing those winds pretty active so if you're headed to Fenway overcast chilly temperatures in the 40s and by Wednesday we'll watch for the temperatures in the mid 50s with a few breaks of sun but with the disturbance over the area and cold air aloft we can't rule out a stray shower as we go on through the week temperatures do rebound into the 60s but again the risk of a shower on late Thursday then again Friday and perhaps even into the weekend with highs in the 60s Chris